Governor Jay Nixon's trade mission resulted in agreements to sell a total of $1.9 billion worth of Missouri goods to consumers in the Republic of Korea and Taiwan over the next four years. In Taiwan, the deals with trade organizations totaled $700 million, a $200 million agreement for the sale of Missouri agricultural products, including corn and soybeans, and a $500 million agreement for manufactured goods. This memorandum is a sign that even greater opportunities for trade and growth lie ahead. Together, through agreements like this one, we can build a brighter and more prosperous future for our peoples. In Korea, three separate agreements with trade associations totaled $1.2 billion in exports of Missouri goods. In both Taiwan and Korea, Governor Nixon met with high-level government officials. The governor said the bipartisan makeup of the Missouri delegation's elected officials bolstered his message that Missouri is a strong and reliable trading partner, united in its efforts to grow trade and support business expansion and job creation. We work with about 140, 50 Missouri farmers. Uh, providing premiums ranging from 50 cents to $2 a bushel. For businesses that were part of the delegation, the mission offered unique opportunities to close new agreements with customers. Garden City, Missouri-based Nico Seeds, which operates the Soy Family Store in Taiwan and has been trading here for a decade, closed deals with two major distributors that will expand the availability of its top-tier Missouri soy products in retail stores throughout Taiwan. The most moving experience of the trip came during an official visit to Seoul's Korean War Memorial. Here in the Hall of Heroes, Governor Nixon honored the more than 900 Missourians who six decades ago made the ultimate sacrifice, helping to turn back communist aggression in the Korean Peninsula. In the section of the hall devoted to Missouri's fallen, the governor told Missouri National Guard soldiers who attended the wreath-laying ceremony that the legacy of the fallen is the Republic of Korea itself, a strong democratic ally with a robust economy and a force for peace and stability in the world.